Dave, it's time to meet Miriam. Here's your host, Gretel Killeen. <laughs> Welcome to Meeting Miriam, a very festive special special. It's an historic night, an event that will be talked about for years and years to come. To this day, people say, where were you when Elvis died? Where were you when the Iraq War began? But from here on in, they'll be saying out loud, what were you wearing when Miriam went into the Big Brother house? <laughs> yes, tonight is all about the famous, the infamous, the beautiful Mexican model with that little extra something meeting our housemates. But what we don't know is how much the housemates know. So just in case they heard the Miriam rumours before they went into the house, she will be going in as Maria. Note, this is not about deception, it's just about the reception. Now, the housemates have no idea Maria, Miriam, is about to enter their lives. In fact, they have no idea that this special is even airing. They are currently waiting for the viewing of their salsa video, preoccupied with the flexibility of body required to learn the salsa. But what they'll actually need is the flexibility of mind to deal with Miriam. Let's cross now to see how they're going with throwing a leg over whilst wearing a banana on your head. Hello, House. Hey. hey! We have a bit of a problem because um, <laughs> I think you're expecting the salsa video. Yeah. yeah. And Same we can't get that into the house. And we know that you've bet... Is, how much have you bet on the task? 100%. 100%. So if you don't succeed in the dance task, well, what, what kind of have you got to eat? Rice, Nothing. yum. Yeah. Meat, Meat, tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, chickpeas. <laughs> Rice, tomato, chickpeas. chickpeas. Oatmeal. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so obviously we're going to have to find a way to solve this. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is work it out um, because what we wanted to do was bring the video in to help you and we're just going to see if there's anything else that we can do to help you with the task. So it's a pretty serious problem and... Uh, <laughs> Well, you just see what we can do. You teach us. Do my best. Do my best. I have to go now. I've got to try and solve the issue, OK? Oh, <laughs> right, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> OK. Well, we'll be meeting Maria, Maria very, very shortly. But just in case you've been locked in a house for the past six weeks with no contact with the outside world other than the odd rubber snake, Absolutely no double entendre intended. Let's see who the housemates will be meeting tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I try to be honest in everything I say, but there is a secret. The sunshine hits your eyes, you find me there. And I'm not afraid of romance. Whoa, -ho -ho. And I'm not afraid of romance. I wasn't born as a girl, I was born as a man. And I'm not afraid of romance. Okay, please welcome the girl who has everything beauty, fame, and a ticket into the Big Brother house. Miriam. Hi, how are you, my darling? Good. Good. How are you? Hi, dear. Come and take a seat. Oh, thank you. Now, 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 now. <laughs> Don't you flirt with the audience? No, I won't. I know. No, you I hate a bit of attention. I want to get into the big brother. <laughs> Now, I want to start at the beginning, but very, very briefly. First of all, how did you choose the name Miriam? First of all, it was Migdalia. My mother came to me and she's like, you know what, Miriam, if you had a, a girl, it would be Migdalia. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be Migdalia. And I was Migdalia for a month. Then after that, I like, and then I love Miriam. Miriam. Yeah. Miriam, it's an excellent name. Now you don't even have to bother with having a surname. <laughs> because you're just completely famous. Now, I've written down some questions. Now. I, I did want to ask you, just quickly, you were what age did you feel like you wanted to be a woman? It's, it's so funny because when I was four years old, I used to watch my mother put on some makeup on and I'm like, okay, I want to do it too, you know? And I used to just watch her and I love, my inspiration to women is like, I love women so much that I wanted to be one of them. 
So you love all the makeup and you love... I love everything. My, like, my mom is so feminine and I just wanted to be like her. Do you love doing the washing up? Uh, you know what? It's so funny because when I told when I told my dad, you know, that I wanted to be a woman, he used to be like, "Oh, Marion, you need to mop the floors. Marion, you need to wash the dishes." And I said, "Dad, when I said I wanted to be a girl, I mean, I wanted to be a princess." I was know, just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I have so much to learn from you. Now, uh, what, what did your dad say? He would, of course, I guess he thought it affected his sexuality or his reputation, did he? Oh no, my dad is is like typical Mexican, and Mexico is like the major thing, oh mm. my god, we're gonna have a gay son. Can happen, you know, but he got used to it. Gee, you must have taken fun. a lot of strength of character to actually say, this is who I am. I know, you have to be really strong because I went through a lot. Like, you don't have any idea what I went through. It's just not even funny, but... but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a strong are. woman, you see, I'm a strong woman, so... No, I wanted to ask you, I are thought. you a feminist? You believe in women's rights? I believe in women's rights. Or individuals' rights. I suppose it's all one and the same, yeah. isn't it? What about, I mean, the feminine side, obviously there's a, being a woman is not just about dressing up and looking pretty, it's about... Oh, no, no, not at all. What about, like, children? Do you have that nurturing side as well? You know what? It, people ask me, Miriam, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to be? And people that are like, you know, why, why you have, why you like to be half and half, you know? And I'm like, because you don't know what, what it is being me, you know, being Marian, I say. I just love being myself, and I love the way that I am right now. I don't want to have a section or anything like that. I just love being myself, which is really important in life, you know? You have to learn how to love yourself. And, um, and, and I, the wish that I, want, I would love to have is just like, I would just want to be just like my mother, have some children, have a husband, drive my kids to school, you know, take care of them. In a four-wheel drive? Yeah. I think that sounds fabulous. Now, we've had a look. You grew up in Mexico, you went to Los Angeles, you went to New York, and then all of a sudden something happened in your life where you ended up the star of a show. So let's have a quick look at that show. There's Something About Miriam was filmed for an English audience, set in Spain and featuring a spicy Mexican. It began with advertisements placed in newspapers and on the net, asking for single men between 20 and 35 years old to apply for the adventure of a lifetime. It seems thousands of Englishmen were looking for love and, of course, prize money. I'm just here for the 10 grand. As well as Miriam's heart, the victor won a week's cruise on a luxury yacht with Miriam as company and £10,000 spending money. Six suitors were selected, but none of them knew the twist in Miriam's tale. To separate the men from the boys, the contestants endured physical challenges and went on dates to showcase their smooth moves. The steamy Spanish villa created the perfect setting for romance. Jealousy. I'm letting you all know if you do it again, me and you are going to go to the wall. All right, you're free to do it. A couple of close calls started to raise suspicions. Do you still think she's a man? No. <laughs> I always get paranoid, I think. So I thought, I'm the for men. Just check the big hands and Adam's uncle. But Miriam dropped suitors faster than they could wave their pistols. A final ceremony revealed the winner and Miriam's secret. Before you claim the prize, Miriam has something to say. All right, so that's the show, something about Miriam, and yeah. now you are completely famous, and I want you to tell me, what is the famous life? Do you live in London now? Um, I live in London and New York. All right, so and so you back for... You go to all the parties? Who's the most I famous? I go everywhere. Do you? <gasps> Who's yeah. the most famous person you've met? Who? Oh. Or day. Or day, <laughs> Who? <laughs> Uh, have, you, have you met Prince William? Yes. Because he's about your age, isn't he? You're uh -huh. only 22. Uh -huh. Would you like to marry Prince William? Not really. Not really. Mm -hmm. Who is your ideal man? Hmm. You see, that's unpredictable because you never know with who you're going to end up falling in love with. It's something that you just cannot predict. All right. So you haven't met Prince William and you don't think you'll be marrying him. So it's all about personality. I do want to ask you, when a man asks you on a date, which would obviously happen a great deal, do what at what stage do you tell them that you know I was born a man? What at what stage? Okay, it's more like uh, when someone is getting close to me, 
like attached to me, then I feel like I have to tell them, you know, but I'm not gonna go around people and be like, hi, I'm Marian and I'm a transsexual. Although everybody <laughs> knows now. Everybody knows now, which is great. I love it, you know, people. Everybody except the people in the Big Brother house. Can I just ask you, what, have you got a plan? Are you gonna reveal this? I'm gonna be a bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up after the break, we ask how do you solve a problem like Maria? And we discuss the boys, the birds and the bees. Give you a hot tip though, if another chick goes out, they'll have to get a couple of birds in. Well I heard that maybe this year there was going to be um, not intruders contesting and being a victim, more like visitors that come into the house for like say like a celebrity comes into the house for a week and then leaves. Oh yeah. Me and Bobby want a hot guy. <laughs> well, you've already got seven of them in here, so you're not gonna get any more. <laughs> <laughs> Never know boys, we still might get a good intruder coming. It could be easy on the eye. You can go for it. Yeah, I know. Sydney Harbour Bridge. But there'll be no cutting here. Nope. It's all live, live, live. Now, before we go into the next package, I have to ask you, what have you heard about Australian Big Brother? Oh, I, I heard so much about it, but I only watched 15 minutes of it, which it was last Sunday, and I've been watching some cuts today, so. All right. Well, I really don't know too much about the guys and the girls, so. Well, what we're going to do now is give you a quick summary of the Big Brother house so far. We're at week six. Let's have a look. Sure. Little girl. Why is everyone so childish? Mm. What a cow. No. You didn't ask! Well, I'm only joking. Oh my god, <laughs> that you have already found intriguing? Uh, uh, I don't know I don't know yet. You see, I have to see the whole package. You have to see the whole package. Well, let me show you something which might help summarise each character in the house, each of our housemates. This will help you as an introduction. All right, have a look. You. I'm 20 years old. <laughs> I'm a carpenter, but what I really want to be is a professional DJ. That's right, wow. on the ground. Wow. Man. <laughs> I think I see myself as a pretty easygoing, chill, happy, go lucky, fun kind of guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. I guess I'm someone who thinks too much about everything and overanalyzes everything. I have been analyzing a lot less. I'm still overanalyzing, but I'm overanalyzing a lot. Work. What the are you doing? I tend to flirt with people by paying myself out more than anything. Hey, your boobs look really good in that too. Do you want to have a really close look? Yeah, bitch, baby. Oh, oh. Wow. I, I'm just more on magnet. Because all the guys in the house this year are far more on. I'm 33 years old. I'm a single mother. Mummy loves you so much. <laughs> Being in the house, I think, is going to really teach me who I am, right? I'm, in, I'm everywhere and anywhere at the moment. I could go anywhere and do anything. Oh. Big brother, can you sense I'm scheming? I'm just about ready to hit my straps. 
I tend to always want to have the final say. Um, I don't like losing a battle of argument or confrontation. I'm hearing what you're saying, right? Are you going to sit down like an adult? No, man. You're going too fast. Seriously. And frankly, I can't remember the last time I did lose one. I'll listen to you. If you listen to me, don't walk away from me, mate. Naive in innocence. Naive? What does naive mean? All my friends and my family think I act like a blonde. I'll tell you a word that's similar that you'll know. Like a little clueless. I love that movie. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Trevor. Bit of a joker. I like um, playing pranks. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit of a heart starter. Like you put me in a hospital and I can bring back people to life. Uh, I'd like to one day run my own business. Hell, I'd even like to be Prime Minister one day. If I was a mother, I'd want a son like Wes. Oh. My dream is just to be the best that I can. You can be very, very assertive without ever being aggressive. I can be quite outspoken. Um, I tend to stand up for what I believe in. You've just got to also let me have my point of view to say as well. So why can't I walk out of the conversation? This is why you did it. Starting to feel like no one bloody wants me here. Ryan. I think people see me as a sort of a typical Aussie bloke and I'm just a bloke, I'm one of the boys, you know. We're like perving on chicks while drinking beer and watching the footy. My relationship status at the moment is non-existent. Well, hopefully there's a couple of good looking birds here and we can uh, maybe pick yeah, something up. Ah, we're just doing a quick summary of who's who, and I was saying now, which one of those people takes your fancy? Because it's all about personalities in the house, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Actually, I don't know, because I haven't met anybody, so I have to wait. But you were a bit impressed by Brie being able to take the, what we call, chicken fillets out of her bra. Yeah. And you said, as we were watching, do you wish you could do that? You've had two breast enlargements, haven't you? I do. How do you know when to stop? Or are you going to do it again and again and again? I mean, they're pretty good, as they are, yeah. Yeah, let's be honest. <laughs> Actually, next question. Now, okay. <laughs> so you're going to go into the house open primarily to personalities. Yeah. You're not going in there to trick anybody. I'm not. Definitely. We're just going to see what happens. If somebody asks you... I would tell them the truth. Does anybody ever say to you, are you a man? I mean, it's certainly not something that they would occur to me. They, they do? They did they before, yeah, but... I'll say no sometimes. You will but say no sometimes? I, what are you talking about? <laughs> but in the house, no. In the house, I will, yeah, I'll be completely honest. This is not like there is something up a million. This is completely different. I'm going to be myself. If they ask me, I will tell them the truth. All right. Now, when you go into the house, you are having your own bedroom yes. and your own bathroom. Now, can I just ask, purely out of curiosity, does it take you a long time to get ready? Does it take you longer than it takes? Well, it depends the occasion. Yeah. You know, it depends where am I going to. <laughs> All right. I can be ready in 15 minutes, I can be ready in two hours. All right. So do you think they're going to suspect anything when you're <laughs> off in your own room or will they just think that you're a sultan? I don't know. I hope, I hope they do because I want to be able to be myself and not trying to trick anybody and trying to be careful with my move or yeah. anything like that. So you want to be who you are? I want to be myself and I want to have some fun and... I want to be a bad girl, so. What does being a bad girl mean? Does that mean, like, drinking oh, yeah. full fat milk? Yeah, you know, just drink, like, fat milk, you know. You just Regular wanna... coke. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just going to go in there, be yourself? Yep. And have a good time? Because you don't have a boyfriend at the moment, do you? No, I don't. Ah, uh, that's good to hear, that's isn't it? Can I just ask you quickly, the boys that are attracted to you now that you've become famous, you have to be a bit careful about those guys? Yeah. Just because they want to be with someone famous? Oh. I don't know. Mm, I, wonder well, if we'll see. I wonder if you'll find love in the house because mm. that is where you're about to go. Miriam is about to enter the Big Brother house. So, are you excited? Nervous? What? I'm excited. You're excited. Yeah. I think you're going to have a fantastic time. I will. Thank you for okay. doing this. Thanks. Thank you. And off oh. you go. Mm. Bye bye. All the very best in this journey and we will be chatting with her again uh, quickly on Sunday night and I'll be with her again on Monday night here.
So, Maria will be taking a trip now in the Tijuana taxi down to the house. And the Tijuana taxi, taxi formerly known as a golf buggy, will be driven by a matador. And while she travels, you can vote on who will take the trip out of the house on Sunday night. So, to decree Brie free, dial 1902 or SMS Brie to 188966. To put Terry on the eviction ferry, call 1902 55 55 61 or text Terry to 188966. To give Paul a call, dial 1902 55 55 63 or SMS Paul to 188966. To give Merlin a whirlin, dial 1902 55 55 74 or text Merlin to 188966. Or to give Kath the kiss off, dial 1902 55 55 69 or text Catherine to 188966. Now, Legion Interactive calls cost 55 cents more from mobiles and SMS calls are 55 cents each. Phone lines close 8 8 p.m. and SMS lines at 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Sunday night. OK, our Big Brother housemates have a lot of time to think and ponder and pursue flights of fantasy and imaginings that would be considered highly improbable in the outside world. But in the, in the, big, in the Big Brother house... I'm just too excited. <laughs> in the Big Brother house, anything is possible. Now that Crystal has gone, will Big Brother introduce a new hot babe? Can I start with this one? I didn't realise we were so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Well, I'll give you the hot tip. Oh, look, it'd probably be a little bit easier on the eyes. Or... <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. I'm not saying you girls at all, but... I reckon they, should, they can bring in anyone. I reckon it'd be good if we had someone new come in. Kane, if a really good-looking, hot, hot, hot chick walked in here, I don't reckon you'd even look sideways on her in fear of, like, sitting <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't. I'd, I'd <laughs> be like this. I'd be hoping that Fryzy or Merlin would take it up and snap it up, mate. So we, no, so we no. Watch. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Boys can get a bit of entertainment. Makes it a bit more entertaining for us, that's all I'm saying. Who knows what the man will do? Mm. Who knows? <laughs> After the break, the beautiful Miriam Maria enters the house and we see what our big brother men are made of. I mean, are they macho or nacho? Samba! <laughs> <laughs> This is Big Brother. All housemates remain in the courtyard. You'll be receiving a visitor to help you with your dancing. Welcome back. You're watching the Big Brother special Meeting Miriam, where we are only moments away from an event not dissimilar to man's landing on the moon. <laughs> one small step for mankind, one giant pirouette for the Big Brother house. Sure, the astronauts wore moon boots and Miriam Maria is in stilettos, but that's the only difference because they're both great steps for mankind. <laughs> Do you want to eat? Oh! oh hello. Hello. No, we can't do that. Hey! <laughs> hey! I've got hello. a present for you guys. Oh, oh great! Go yeah. 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 take it, where's you? And hey. Maria. You're really you. pretty. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to dance feature, so I'm going to show you guys how to dance. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Because you guys have been dancing terrible. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> so, you know, okay, so you guys. Hey. Oh, hey. Okay, so Paul. Paul. Yeah. Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Paul and Kane. 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 How you going? And um, Marley. Yeah. Oh, so nice to meet you. Bree. Oh, I was Bray. Ashley. Ashley, yeah. of course. <laughs> Terry, nice to meet you. And yeah, come on, Trevor. Hey, you Yeah. Catherine. Hey. Ryan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you too. So, oh, let's go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys have anything fun? Yeah. 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 
It's a little bit cold. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. how are you guys feeling? Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. You guys yeah. ready oh, to dance? Oh, yeah. 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 You guys ready for tomorrow? Yeah. No? Tomorrow is a special oh, day. It is. It is. Yeah, it's gonna be big for you guys. So yeah. Oh, you guys have to be ready. Cool. Can you guys show me the house? Do you see? Yeah. 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 Come right through. There's a star. Yeah. What's happening on the outside? No, no, no. No, no. That one now. Spa. Is that a jacuzzi? Watch yeah. five. Yeah. Okay. Just watch that one. Watch the tall one. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit shy. Yeah, not shy. Not shy. Not shy. Not shy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just want to see the best room. 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 Oh, so, you guys take a shower? Because I, really, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't seen the big brother. I haven't watched. I only watched 50 minutes of you guys. So. Are you serious? Was this? Oh, Miss no. that? So no, she's only seen 15, 15 minutes of us. Oh, really? Oh, okay. And she's yeah, already said that we're really bad. And okay. you guys take a shower together? Yeah. yeah. In there. And One hour right, in the morning. This is the best room. And do you guys see each other's naked when no. they're in a shower? Bikinis. Yes, I'm with of really? Yeah. yeah. And all bikinis. the rest are covered up. We're going bikinis. I will never be able to do that. This is oh. the best room in the honey. Do you need a shower now? Not if you're inside of the house. Sorry? Not if you're the big brother. Yeah, that's it. What's that you cannot do? Oh my god. This is so exciting. I'm so glad that this is going to be the house. Yeah, the donkey. Where have it? Someone with me. I'll take him. Yeah. Wow. Are you a model? I'm the best teacher. You can be a model. Oh, thanks. Marie, let's go. Do you want to do that? I've forgot that. I'm being hungry. I'm not hungry anymore. Bye. So where are you going to have that? What? Where about? So you're from? Sorry to be rude. Mexico. Are you from oh, Mexico? Really? Yeah. She came from Mexico. She's a teacher. Corona's in Mexico. Yeah. Corona's. Yes. Are you from Mexico? Yes, that's your favorite. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Oh, no, I'm back to fish. Oh, I'm trying to stop. I'm joking. Have you heard girls heard the rumor yet that Rosie's? No. Rosie's what? Rosie's what? Is she your girlfriend, Rosie? Oh, it's not that. You should have pointed out there's two single blokes. Oh, what? This? Yeah, you should have seen me. Okay, stand around and play with the rail. Come on. No, I just knew the rail. I'm going to go have some more chocolate. I'll be back in a minute. What? Mate, no, I've said... No, no. Right. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Fascinating. So it would appear, Big Brother, correct me if I'm wrong, that Ryan seems to suspect what's going on with Miriam. That is correct. Yes. Here's a man. Let's ask him. <laughs> what would the telltale signs be? Uh, I don't know. I think he's just fluked it. You think he's fluked it? Yeah. Do you worry about your own sexuality and being tricked and attracted to Miriam? Uh, I'm married, so hopefully not, no. Do you worry? No, absolutely not. Fair <laughs> enough. I love a good love. Now, who else can we ask? You look like a lovely person. Are you surprised that Ryan spotted it? Uh, no, a little bit, because she's actually quite pretty. Oh, she's quite feminine in here. Well, she's more than pretty. Hands up. Who, who is surprised that Ryan has spotted it? I'll put your hands up for heaven's sake. <laughs> Who isn't? Oh, you're all pathetic. <laughs> you're all on detention. Now, if Maria going into the house is a feast, we are currently at the canapé slash nibble stage. We are talking the cheese and jets and a couple of gherkins. <laughs> so far, our housemates have met Maria, but let's cross again to the house to see what's going to happen now. To dance? Yeah. Yeah. Cha-cha into the salsa. It's like watching baby Jimbaroo. Welcome back to a Big Brother special that's moving and shaking as our housemates swivel their hips, snap their backs, and that's just to get out of the way of each other. Let's see if Maria can help them tell their left foot 
from their right elbow. This is three hours of rehearsal. Two rounds of choices there. We have okay, water. Okay, ready? You guys yeah, ready? Show me how to dance. Come on. We've got to wait till the start of the song, the loop. We'll just do a bit of building stuff, eh? Okay, that's it. The song is going to start again. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Here you guys have to show me your best. Oh, oh, don't worry about it. Oh. This will be like no yeah. salsa you've ever seen. Just remember, we can, we've only got a little bit of spice to oh, dance <laughs> Start again. I'll just do I'll just do a couple of stretches. <laughs> the song to start again because we got a routine. We got the routine now. Yeah. Oh here we go. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Double spin. So you come in. I come in. Out. Right around. And then, and then I bend you over my knee. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So dance. Wait a minute, will you just follow the music? Oh, and okay. Will you Housemates 
and Maria to the diary room immediately. Oi! Maria, stay! Woohoo! Nobody oh. solves a problem like Maria! <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother, where it's time to cross to the house and ask the housemates, those people with less rhythm than a bunch of ten pins, if they want Maria to stay. Now, remember, Ryan now suspects that Maria is a transsexual. Paul, on the other hand, insists that she is not. So, let's cross to the house and ask them if they want her to stay. Could we have vision of the house? There we are. Hello. Oh, hello. Hey. Wow. Do better. Oh, tell him we've been dancing the night away over here. <laughs> now, you've got Maria there. Now, you know you've got the task tomorrow night, 100%. Maria knows how to dance. She can teach you. The question is, would you like her to stay until tomorrow and teach you Yay! how to do this properly? Yeah! <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see a show of hands. And can All I right. keep her dress? Beg your pardon? Can I keep her dress? <laughs> Ashley, um, what will Maria one. wear I'm if you're wearing a dress? Ryan's clothes. Ryan's will be happy Ryan's clothes. Rightio. <laughs> OK, now there are two conditions. Big Brother's talking to me at the same time. Can we get a wider shot so we're not just staring at Ryan's noggin? <laughs> Rightio. So the two conditions are these. One. That Maria is not allowed to say anything at all about the outside world. Do you agree with that, Maria? Yeah, I do. OK. That was like I'd ask to marry me. And <laughs> everybody else has to understand that Maria, as a very special guest, will be having her own bedroom. Oh. OK, so you've all agreed she's going to stay. <laughs> and your task now is to show her her bedroom, which is what was previously known as the secret room oh. or the loser's bedroom. Right. So off you go and good luck with the task. See you guys. Bye. 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 As long as there's food in it. How exciting. Oh, please. <gasps> yeah, the stage. Oh, wow. Yeah, very special. You have a very special room. It's really cold. It's a really cold room. It was occupied by the loser. We did a task once where we, we did a task and <laughs> lost the task. Had to, there was six of us that were staying in that room. Yes. <laughs> what, Merlin? <laughs> Let us open the door, then. No, what did she learn to talk about the outside world? I actually noticed so, that was unlocked the side room. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, well, did you? Yeah. Yeah. How's my mum? Oh, so no, she's got a cold shower. Wait, did she come? What, did you throw it completely? Open the doors! For Maria! Open Open the doors the door, like Maria! Maria. This is Big Brother. All housemates and Maria to the kitchen for a Mexican banquet. The storeroom is now open. Stealing chocolates, boys. Yeah. Oh no, it's turned back on now. Stealing. It was off, and now it's gone back on. <laughs> okay, so now our housemates will have the other kind of salsa, the sort you dip your nachos in. The fiesta will continue long into the night, and there's a smorgasbord of housemates for you to vote to evict on Sunday night. So, to cut a slice of brie, dial one nine zero two. 55 55 72 or SMS Bree to 188-9966. To Barry Terry, call 1902 55 55 61 or text Terry to 188-9966. 
to Mall Paul, dial 1902 55 55 63 or SMS Paul to 188 To give Merlin a stirring, dial 1902 55 55 74 or text Merlin to 188-9966. Or to reel in Catherine, dial 1902-55-55-69. Or text Catherine to 188-9966. OK, now, up late we'll come... Hello, could we have some music? <laughs> How... Come on in here, Mike, you sing with us. Good heavens! <laughs> And we will meet Miriam again on Monday night on our nomination show. I'm Gretel Colleen, and this is Big Brother Uncut, where the dancing never stops. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.